Hello guys, in this tutorial, we're gonna answer a really common question that I get asked. What's the difference between flow and opacity in Photoshop? Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the differences between flow and opacity, and how it can help you out, especially when you're doing layer masking. Okay, let's go into Photoshop. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop. I've just got a brush tool selected and I've put my opacity at the top here at 100 and my flow at 100 and I'm just using the color black. And as you can see, I just make a nice brush stroke like that and it's just a general black line, easy. If I change the opacity now to 80%, do it again, it's a little bit more grayer, but actually what it is, is it's more opaque, so you can see through the black. Let's take it down now to 40%, just to really see the difference. And now you can see it looks like really gray. And again, just to emphasize, it's not actually gray, it's black that you can see through, it's opaque. And that's basically what opacity is, it's really easy. It just makes something see through and it's the same for the clone stamp tool, the paint bucket tool and loads of other things on Photoshop. Okay, so I'm now just gonna clean the screen so we've got a nice blank white piece of paper again. So go back to the beginning. And this time, let's take the opacity to 50% and see what happens when we overlay the marks. So I'm just gonna go like this in a diagonal, like that in another diagonal, and through the middle again there, through the middle again there. And now what you can see is where the marks have been overlaid, it's got darker. Now that becomes really important when you're masking because what that actually means is the more you overlay when you're masking, the more that you're gonna make that mask invisible. And I'm gonna show you that in a bit more detail um, a bit later on in the video. So using opacity in this way is a bit like if you've got a felt tip pen and it's running out. And then when you put it on a piece of paper and you draw a line and then you go over that line again and you go over that line again, it gets darker and darker. And that's how opacity works in this way. Now, before I show you what flow does, I want to tell you about our online courses we've got over at the schoolofphotography.com. So if you come over there, we're gonna have a range of online courses that will help you learn photography and Photoshop and Lightroom and all them fun things. So come over to the schoolofphotography.com and check out our online courses. So now let's talk about flow. Now flow, you've got to imagine it's like a fountain pen. And when you press hard with a fountain pen on a piece of paper, the ink really flows out. And if you press very softly with a fountain pen on a piece of paper, not much ink comes out. And flow works pretty much like that. Let's go and demonstrate it in Photoshop. Okay, so the screen's been cleared, so I'm ready to practice. And this time I'm gonna take the opacity to 100% and I'm gonna turn the flow to 10% like that. Now, if I start painting with the same tool as I had before, it goes all juddery like that. And that's because I am still using a hard edge brush and it makes this sort of judder movement which looks nice and pretty, but when you're working with layer masks, that really doesn't do you a favor. So working with a hard brush when you're using the flow is not really a good thing to do. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna go back so I've got a nice clear screen and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna take my hardness of the brush down to zero. Now let's have a look and see the difference. So now you can see that we don't get that judder effect at all and if I go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, I'm not lifting off of my mouse, I'm still pressing. As you can see, the more I go over the same marks, the darker it gets. And it's a bit like if you're shading with a pencil. 
you can continue to shade and shade and shade and it will get darker and darker, but you haven't lifted your pencil off of the piece of paper. So with opacity, you have to keep lifting off, putting down again, lifting off, putting down again to make it go darker. But when you're using flow with your opacity high, you can press it down and keep holding it down and going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. That's the main difference between opacity and flow. Now let's put it to practice in some layer masking. Okay, so here's the image that we are going to use. And this is an image from my Blend Multiple Exposures tutorial. And I put a link to that right here for you now so you can go and have a go at it. Really good tutorial for help you practice in layer masks and practicing with the flow and opacity tool. So go and check that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one side where we uh, do it mainly with opacity and then the other side where we do it mainly with flow. Now, just to explain it very quickly, we're going to work on this layer mask over here. And effectively, what we're going to do is make this river picture invisible so that we can see the face picture underneath. Here we go. Let's change the opacity to 10% and let's turn the flow up to 100%. So I'm going to just make my brush a little bit bigger as well. So as I paint over, now you have to paint black over a layer mask. As I paint over, you can see I have to lift off and apply the paint again. And you can see it's starting to make the, uh, the river here invisible. Okay, so that's the opaque way of doing it and it works. It works just fine in fact. So now you can see that I have took that part out there with using opacity. But now let's change that so the opacity is 100 and the flow is 10% and see the difference. So now let's change that to 100%, that's the opacity. Change this to 10%, that's the flow. And now I can click and hold and go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. And I'm not releasing the mouse, I'm clicking, holding, going backwards and forwards like this. And it's almost as if I'm very, very softly going over it with an eraser, if you like. Although it's not erasing the image, it's masking it, just so that you know. And for this particular task, flow on 10%, opacity on 100 works a lot better because you can get it a bit more accurate. Now I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller so that we can reveal these eyes. And like I said before, go over to that blend multiple exposure uh, tutorial and have a go at this. And you can make this for yourself. All the images are provided there as well. So you don't have to do much, you just do it. Just follow along with me and create this image. And there you go. Now the eyes are visible. And that's pretty much it. You can keep going and erase whatever you want on an image like this. It's entirely up to you. That's where your creativity comes in. But that is the difference between opacity and flow. And I really, really hope it's helped you out. If it has, come over to theschoolofphotography.com where we've got loads of stuff like this for you to be learning photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and so on. Don't forget to join our learning community as well over on Facebook and Instagram and you can join in on our assignments and competitions and really push your learning forward. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.